Charlie Kirk is very concerned about the left's war on Thanksgiving. This is, I guess, the new thing since the war on Christmas has sort of played out. Take a look. The left has always hated Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving can be interpreted as a religious holiday if you believe in giving thanks to a creator. But they hate Thanksgiving because they believe there is nothing you should be thankful for in America. This is an awful place. It is cancerous, rotten to the core. Tear it all down. Burn it from within. Why would you be thankful? Instead, we need a revolution. Remember, as the Students for a Democratic Society radicals once wrote in the 1960s, they said, conflict is the origin of everything. What happens when you're thankful? By definition, you're less likely to be involved and engaged in conflict. Thanksgiving is supposed to de-escalate any sort of pre-existing issues in our country. And now they're using the virus as an excuse for you not to be thankful. We'll be right back. To put this into context for you guys, there are state governments around the country that are saying, okay, listen, there's a pandemic. It's raging out of control. Uh, the numbers, we keep hitting records on a daily basis. Um, it's, it's really, it's, it's scary because you're at, you're at the point where hospitals in many places are at capacity and are going to be over capacity. And then you have the death rate go up even more because you don't have enough people to give the medical care to the people who need it. It really is a mess. So what you have is the state governments basically saying, hey, listen, it, if you want to make sure you don't get COVID, here are some things that you could do. Try to maintain social distancing. Try to ma wear masks whenever you can. If you're in a place where it's warm enough, open the windows to circulate the air. Um, if you can sit outside with one of those heater things, that would be wonderful as well. Basically, the state governments are trying to say, there's a pandemic. We know there's a pandemic. Here are the things that you could do that would really help. And what people on the far right are doing is they're taking these guidelines. They're pretending, by the way, like it's tyrannical and mandatory and you're going to get thrown in the gulag if you don't do these things. Of course, you're not. It's ridiculous. But they're taking these and they're acting like, aha! Gotcha. The left simply hates Thanksgiving. And now you're waging a war on Thanksgiving. No, we just don't want people to get sick and die as a result of their Thanksgiving dinners. That's all. That's all. You know, the state government can say things and it could be actual sound advice on how to move forward. But they view anything that they say as like, well, this is tyrannical and this is a dictatorship and you guys are taking my freedom. For the love of God. I mean, listen, there's <laughs> you can make the argument, oh, the seatbelt is a big restriction on freedom. But nobody really says that anymore because we know how many lives it saves because it's not that much to do this. Click. You know, but by the same token, face masks, face masks are a very similar thing. There should be a national face mandate, face mask mandate. But I, there would be people, Charlie Kirk included, who view it as like the most tyrannical overreach ever, even though that if you do that alone, it'll probably save hundreds of thousands of lives. So this is what he's talking about. He's talking about like guidelines where they say, here, hey, here's how you don't get COVID and die. And he's like outraged by that. Now he's acting like there's a there's a war on Thanksgiving. So some of the things he says, the left has always hated Thanksgiving. I always, it's always funny to me when you hear people on the right talk about the left because I'm in these left-wing circles. Nobody ever says the things that they say they say. The things that the right accuses the left of believing and saying, they just don't, nobody ever says it. It's like how they, they all think like Saul Alinsky is our overlord. Most of the people I know on the left haven't even read Saul Alinsky, okay? <laughs> so it's just, it's absurd that they listen to Kyle Kalinsky, but not Saul Alinsky. Um... He says the left believes there's nothing you should be thankful for. I don't... Charlie, left-wingers have families too. Left-wingers have friends too. Left-wingers participate in this country's traditions. Some begrudgingly, some not. You know, it varies from person to person who's a fan of the holiday season and who isn't. But you get that among conservatives and Republicans too. You know, some people like the holiday season, some people don't like the holiday season. Then he makes the argument... Well, the reason they hate Thanksgiving is because it takes away from the revolution. How do you even respond to something like that? Could you imagine that conversation actually happening behind the scenes? 
Like I'm talking to Jenk Uger or something or, or, or Jimmy Dore and I'm like, we're going to cancel Thanksgiving this year, right? If people get together and if people are thankful for stuff, they're not mad and then they don't want to do the revolution. We got to cancel Thanksgiving to keep everybody mad for the revolution. It's just, this is crazy. This is crazy. Now, the final point is, here we go again. We just covered the story, Ben Shapiro and Candace Owens going all in, slamming Harry Styles for wearing a dress. Who cares if Harry Styles wears a dress? And now you have Charlie Kirk pretending like the left is waging a war on Thanksgiving. This is all a distraction, guys. The culture war is all a distraction. They try to get people outraged about menial nonsense bullshit. And, you know, they try to make it seem like the left is coming for everything that you happen to like in your life. Every little nicety, every little personal thing. But that's not true. And this is just a giant distraction from the fact that these guys really don't have any solutions or answers on the serious issues. They don't. You know, I mean, again, we're bombing seven different countries. Trump's pretending to end the wars. He's not. He's keeping the troops there. 30% of the country is on the brink of being foreclosed on or evicted. As soon as those protections are gone, we're screwed. 230,000 Americans and rising uh, have died from COVID. The economy is a house of cards. I mean, we got all these problems. And instead of addressing these problems substantively with real policy, we got Ben Shapiro crying about Harry Styles in a dress. And we got Charlie Kirk pretending like the left is trying to ban Thanksgiving. No, the left was like, hey, I don't want you to die. So just here's some thoughts as to what you do on Thanksgiving to try to live. <gasps> How could you? You hate freedom and you're a dictator and you just want the revolution and you hate Thanksgiving. For the love of God, stop being ridiculous. There's no war on Thanksgiving. There's no war on Christmas. But I'll go a step further. Even if there was... Who cares? Because <laughs> no one's really trying to take it away from you. You do whatever you want to do on Christmas and Thanksgiving. If somebody doesn't like the holiday season, whoop de freaking do That's called freedom. That's what they, they get to feel that way and, and live accordingly. So it's just... They're going hard on the culture war bullshit because they don't have much productive to say on the things that matter.